I'm going to take my plants out from the attic and finally on the balcony again. Hopefully they're not going to die because of a shock, but we can only know this when we try it. So let's try it. This is the dream house. They have seen it multiple times, obviously. <sighs> Am I really doing this? At this point, I'm not sure anymore. I should be sure. Where, where are the boxes? If I don't have the boxes, I can take it home. Oh, there's the boxes. Never mind. I found my boxes. Some things died, so two boxes should be enough, I think. I mean, let's do it, I guess. Let's do it! <laughs> so this is my first time lapse, and it did not focus on me or the greenhouse at all, but I just emptied it, and that's all that happened, really. I got two... Oh my god, it's heavy. Oh! This box right here. Let's move. This is one box. It's full, right? And I actually managed to put everything into two boxes. I maybe had three when I brought them in, but okay. And this is the second. You can see this beautiful asparagus has grown so much. Oh my god, look how, like, how flat it is. And then it's like, wow. Okay, never mind. Anyways, this is very, oh, this one is heavy, but it's uh, made out of wood. So that's a little, a little crate, right? That's, that's it. And then I have a few dead ones that are just dead. I have some pots here and there. I'm going to put away the greenhouse. Uh, that's about it, I think. I just put apart the greenhouse, as you have seen me do multiple times before. And I tidied up the place and we can go home. Nothing new, you all know the setup already. We're gonna put the greenhouse back in this corner as we did last year. But today we have 4K recording. Uh, no, my time lapses some for some reason do not focus correctly, but we're gonna make it work. Let's go. Let's not mind these pants. It's very hot and I'm probably gonna get bitten by mosquitoes. It's gonna be worth it though. I need to clean up the floor first. Cleaning the balcony after the full winter and when there is like pollen from the trees already there is really really annoying but at least putting the greenhouse together is very nice and relaxing so that is what I did. Oi, oi, oi. So these are the plants. I'm gonna put them in the greenhouse. I have now put a plastic piece of plastic. What? I put a piece of plastic underneath so um, I don't get mold like last year. And now let's put them all in this and then uh, that's about it for today, really. I'm going to tie this one up with some string and uh, the rest are just kind of hanging out in there. And then if we go one shelf lower, there is this bunch of hastatums is just a little row of them and then we have the other plants that I just put in there you know uh, we have a free shelf of course and then we have more space obviously it's almost full um, but we're still going to put a lot of things in there as some things die or take up less space we're gonna start using the curtains again so I'm recording voice on this just so you know that like this is what I'm doing. Today it's already May 11th and I'm gonna do a little update on the first greenhouse and we're also gonna put up the second greenhouse right behind me. I have it right here so we're going to put it somewhere here just like we did last year. I don't know where the table was. That's a bit concerning but we're going to handle it. microphone on let's get closer shall we yes it is next day and yes i'm wearing the same exact shirt there is a greenhouse right there and there's a greenhouse right there very beautiful i'm gonna give you a little tour in a second but first i want to tell you that most of my like favorite plants are in this one behind you that has been there for more time and this one that is just new eco ecosystem is um, a little empty for now. Do not worry, I will be buying new plants soon. I'm currently a little bit broke and I'm not buying plants right now. Let me give you a tour right now. So I'm going to keep this on while I take you all on a little adventure. Okay, if this stops recording, I'm going to be so mad because my camera has been doing this. Oh, Lord. Y'all know that this is my first greenhouse. 
and you turn around and there is another greenhouse right there so this is the new one okay so let me just open this one up did i not think of this earlier <laughs> Okay, and another one. No, this was, I should have done this. Let me do this before. Okay, let's go from the bottom up. So, first of all, this is my camera randomly cuts off for some reason. So, to start off, we have here some new Philodendron Mames, and then we have some Monsteras in the background. This cute begonia, it glows blue when you shine it, shine on it. Um, but we have some like less important plants down here. So we move on to shelf number two So in the back we have a little a little Biliatier. We have a, prin a Prince of Orange and Ring of Fire. We have oh my god look at this tiny Florida ghost. Oh This is I have unboxed these like half a year ago, and it's starting to do something and then we have a bunch of these hastatums. Look at these. And this beautiful little Brazil. Oh, wow. She's so beautiful. She's gorgeous. Okay. And then when we move up on my favorite shelf, obviously, I put out an Anthurium for the first time ever. This is the Crystallinum. And it's putting out a new leaf, but I just put this out yesterday, so we'll see. Prince of Orange with, like, a lot of these really cute leaves. Can you just look at this color? How gorgeous are these leaves? Very pretty. Then we have this uh, as asparagus fern. Let's just like take a look at how big this branch is randomly like. What? I don't feed this a lot, but you know. And I put out this Nungar tea and see that Sally does not really like to grow leaves, I think. I don't know why, but hopefully something happens. More Hastatum. Ooh, aerial root. We have a Billy in the back. We have a Gloriosum that I just put out. This one is the one that I repotted in Lekka. Just look at these gorgeous, gorgeous roots. Okay. And then in the back, we have a beautiful marble, like, Snow Queen Pothos. Like, hello. How beautiful is this? It's very white in real life. And then we have this one on the back, and then we have this gorgeous one. This one is huge, and this one has been growing like this. Just kind of, I'm, it's, it's gonna flower, flower this year, I think. But new leaves are coming out, and a little orchid in the back. Okay, this one is kind of stupid, but I'm just gonna show it like this because why not? So this is the full greenhouse. Okay. I. We're opening up the second greenhouse. Oh, this one is. Also very wet. This is a fern that has survived an entire winter and it's not very amazing, but it can grow really pretty. We have a little sad Syngonium elbow, if it's going to show it. Yes. And then we have some more Syngonium in the back and like little stupid philodendrons. And this parlor palm, we have an Adnesuniae. Uh, we have this Anthurium that is supposed to be variegated. I don't know if you're gonna see, there should be variegation there. But this leaf is dying off, so don't worry. More of this beautiful neon Stingonium, and then we have this Florida that has been just slowly dying in this Lekka, but it's okay. So we're just gonna close it. I have these, um, I have these glass uh, shelves that I just put on this, this one. We have, I had four from like a cabinet and I just put them into both of these because it's pretty and it's more sturdy. I'm going to leave you by showing you variegated Anthurium andreanum. This is fully, mm, this is supposed to be fully variegated but it died off and then we have like a health moon here that also kind of died off. You know what, never mind. Pests love my plants. I hope you like this video. I'm very busy these days so I'm not gonna post for like May. So you'll see this lady like in June. Sorry about that. Plants are loving the greenhouse so far and I'm also loving them. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.